So we've been asked to do a walkthrough on our van. Um, we have the Mountain Trail Campers LXV 4.7 model. Uh, originally didn't come in this configuration, which is now a standard item, which is the family configuration, which I'll go through in a minute. So starting at the front, we have a, a four bike icy bike carrier, uh, simply pivots over the toolbox for when you're traveling uh, and then opens up stands up like that when you are camped up for the night I'll just open up the toolbox here at the front so in here there's a spot for jerry cans on both sides uh, and then in the middle uh, two gas bottles and you'll see there's still quite a fair bit of storage in there which we have quite filled up uh, at the drawbar end it's got a do35 hitch uh, off-road hitch um, breakaway unit and we've hooked up a optional reverse camera which is that one there uh, and also has your Anderson plug the stone stomper isn't a standard item we fit we fitted that ourselves uh, moving into the outdoor kitchen area, there's a Waco 95 litre dual zone fridge freezer. So we've got it set up as freezer one side, uh, fridge on the other. We also have a 80 litre fridge in the back of the car, um, which we've needed all that space for our, for our uh, fridge needs for our trip. Uh, pantry in here, so quite a, a large pantry. Um, so we've got cooking equipment in the front and a little bit of food on top, food sources at the back and then there is a top drawer which again is fairly large. We've got condiments, uh, bowls, plates, wraps, things like that up here. Uh, then we've got the kitchen, so there's a three burner stove, we've got the sink and then just a just a stainless steel bench area there where we dry our dishes. Uh, drawer there, uh, that's under sink, which is a little bit of storage, but most of it's for the hose that you can see there to store up underneath. Um, and then another drawer here, which we've used for cutlery, utensils and plates. Uh, at the end of the kitchen, uh, there's a water level indicator Red Arc battery manager. Um, both of those are secondary items because we've got the TVMS for our Red Arc, which I'll go through in a moment. Uh, two 12 volt cigarette plugs, two USB plugs there, uh, a switch for the light, and then the electric awning open and close. Uh, two speakers. There and there for outdoor music and then the speakers inside as well. We'll go inside in a minute. Uh, so the difference with this one to a normal 4.7 LXV is we've optioned bunks inside. So that means that the ensuite pod that's on the smaller model comes onto this. So that just flips up at the side and that drops out. So in here, um, so there's a full, full length mirror in there, uh, shower, outlet, with tap in there. There's a light at the top that you'll see. Um, you can put your porta potty in here as well. And it's really simple to use, just folds up and folds away once you're finished for the day. Uh, coming around to the other side of the van. Uh, well, for mains water, when you're in a caravan park, you can just hook up your mains water and your water will flow through there. You don't need the pump on, won't use your water in your tanks at all. Then we've got water tanks, front and rear. We've also got a third extra one put in, in replacement of the gray water tank because we've got the ensuite pod instead. Uh, mains electricity to hook up again when you're in a caravan park. Uh, in here isn't anything special. It's just the diesel hot water system. Um, and also got a, the best inline filter there as well. Uh, and then these two sections here are, are storage and they're, they're quite large. So, I mean, they are full to the brim at the moment, but 
So in here, um, that's a, a milk crate with um, a cast iron stove or uh, oven in it. But behind that, we've got our Weber BBQ. Um, and then behind here, you see underneath there's chairs, um, a bench. We've also got a fire pit back there. Um, it goes back quite a way back down there. So you can fit a whole heap of stuff in the, that storage locker. Uh, in this storage locker, um, so up the top is where all your poles go for the awnings. Um, we've also got a rake up there. Uh, and then down here, we've got all the extra awning walls. Um, the porta potty sits in here when it's not in the back. And then there's more awning walls up the back of that. So again, this is pretty deep as well. Both sides have two large windows, lets in lots of ventilation. Uh, up on the roof, here we have um, three uh, 180 watt solar panels, so we've got 540 watts in total. Um, and then coming inside, so we'll start up this end. So we've just got um, there's the Sirocco fan up, up on the wall there. Uh, you'll see the speakers up on the roof for the inside side of it. Uh, full queen size inner spring mattress, uh, dinette table area, TV. Um, there's a fair bit of storage down the side of the beds, which we do utilize for quite a few items, mainly, mainly toiletries, medical, uh, first aid, kids, school supplies, things like that. Um, there's a charging port on each side of the bed up the end for USBs plus a reading light. Uh, there's also lights above the bed up there as well uh, and there and over there. Uh, under the bed is more storage. When I find the tab. So under there, there's, there's quite a bit of storage again under there as well. So we utilize this mainly for our beach towels, bath towels, we've got some games in there. Uh, another Ryobi fan, vacuum cleaner, and some uh, winter gear, which we've just um, packed away for if we ever need it. Um, underneath there, you'll see that's the uh, diesel heater. Uh, so it's running through the same diesel system as the hot water, so you can have uh, a heater if, you, if the need arises. There's also 240 volt switch here. Moving over here, uh, that's the panel for the inverter. We've got controls for the media um, center, so that's uh, radio, CD, uh, hooked up to the TV, and also Bluetooth. Um, and then we have the Red Vision TVMS system here which controls your on and off switches for so that's water pump diesel hot water That's the sound system um, Lights in the lockers uh, the fridge and then the 12 volt system also tells you the, the Capacity of your battery at the top and then your, your water tanks at the bottom there and how long so this really replaces the original red arc um, one which is outside of the kitchen, so you use that one more so than the one out there, but it's still handy to have outside. Uh, up there is the outlets for the air conditioning system. Uh, and then we have the cupboards here, which we've just utilized storage bags for everybody's clothes in there. And then, then, we, then there's five drawers. So the top one's more of a general drunk junk drawer we've got all the electronic charges and batteries and things in there a few kids books and stuff and then i've got um the kids have one drawer each for their clothes um so we really utilize those drawers for the clothes that they access all the time and then jumpers and warm stuff tend to be in those ones up there and then we have the three bunks for the kids now it is fairly tight in there um there's not a huge amount of room i think there's about 450 mils 500 mils between each one which is fine for our kids at the ages they are uh which is 
10, 8 and 4. Um, the eldest is on the top bunk, he's 10. Probably only be able to stay like that in that for another probably two years, but after that he'll probably want to be in a swag anyway. And we've got it um, made so that we can retrofit it and take it back to a just a two bunk system um, when that happens. So which will just give the the two girls more room. Then that middle bunk will move up a bit higher and give both of them more room. So um, yeah, ladder for the three bunks, um, curtain system which just pulls across pretty straightforward uh, and then underneath the kids uh, bunks that side there is where the air conditioning unit is kept and is and then there's an, again another fairly large storage drawer here which we've just got utilized for shoes and then um, liquids and fly spray bushmans things like that in there uh, that's just the uh here's that's a remote control for the automatic awning in and out and then there's obviously the switches outside too if you don't want to use the remote and that's the um air conditioning remote there so yeah windows nice nice and large let plenty of air through which is great um they are also block out so they block out um and then same with the roof vents um, block out as well so kids often sleep in till nine o'clock because it gets quite dark in here with all that closed up uh, yeah I think that's about it if you want any information or anything further just shoot us a message or email cheers